Toyota Corolla keeps us humble. Not only when we're driving one, that would keep anyone's ego in check, but when we think about the lowly Corolla being not just the best-selling compact car in America, but the best-selling automotive nameplate of all time. Toyota sold almost 1,000 of the things every day in 2015 in the United States alone, weekends and holidays included. This, despite the fact that the Corolla has never once appeared on a single car and driver 10 best cars list. In our eyes, the Corolla has always been a safe choice but never a terribly interesting one. Millions of Americans chose it anyway. Like we said, humbling. To Toyota's credit, the company tried to make some interesting changes when the 11th generation Corolla landed as a 2014 model. The result, however, was stylistically erratic, and the 132 horsepower four-cylinder engine was still woefully underpowered compared to the competition. Our hopes that a mid-cycle update would see Toyota harmonize its design and bring a power boost were dashed earlier this year, when the 2017 model was introduced at the New York Auto Show. While the trim choices increased from 4, L, La, La Eco, and S, to 6, L, La, La Eco, XLE, plus the sportier SE and XSE, to better align the suffixes with other Toyota models. The product warm over was a cool one. An anniversary addition to commemorate the Corolla's 50th year in production was about as exciting as it got. Higher spec Corolla models have new headlamps, all models use new tail lamp innards and restyled front fascias, and all but the base cell and the Eco models roll on redesigned 16 and 17 inch wheels. Inside, subtle trim changes add a more three dimensional look to the dashboard and a soft touch panel on the passenger side. Lower grade models also see a new gauge cluster that incorporates a 3.5-inch information screen, while in dressier trims the screen is a 4.2-inch color LCD. The automatic climate controls look classier now, too. The two new sport flavor trim levels, SC and XSE, pick up where the Corolla S left off, with sporty-ish looks inside and out, more aggressively bolstered sport seats, revised suspensions, and, on the new XSE fancy leather upholstery. Perhaps most significant, all Corollas come standard with the Toyota Safety Sense P Driver Assistance Package, which includes automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert with steering assist, automatic high beams, and radar cruise control. Toyota even tosses in a backup camera with projected path lines on all models. Given how few cars in this segment offer all of those modern features, let alone as standard, we think the customers will be pleased. Modern content in a 20th century box. Sadly, nothing has changed under the hood, so while the Corolla may dress a little better and be more able to save you from yourself, it's none too enthusiastic about getting up to speed. We sampled three 2017 Corollas, an Eco, a manual transmission SE, and an XSE with a continuously variable automatic transmission CVT, programmed to emulate an actual gearbox, and sluggish is the most generous way we can describe any of them. With just 132 horsepower and 128 pounds to foot of torque, the 1.8-liter 4-banger slash CVT combination on most models felt just as slow as we remembered from our 2014 Corolla S test, during which 10.5 seconds elapsed while it moseyed its way from rest to 60 miles per hour that's a couple of seconds off the pace of essentially the entire compact car field, including the Honda Civic, the Chevrolet Cruze, the Mazda 3, and the Volkswagen Golf. That said, we were surprised and rather delighted with the XSE's CVT, which operates with six fixed ratios in sport mode and served up predictive downshifts when we slowed for corners. Yeah.